this summer, everyone's going to start seeing some changes at the fuel pumps. The E5 pump, which is the green one for unleaded, is going to disappear and be replaced by the E10. Now, you're probably thinking, what's, what's the difference? Well, it's the, it's the uh, percentage of bioethanol, that's, that's known as E5, that we get at the moment, is going to be increased to E10, which is 10%. And it's going to affect unleaded fuels. So if you've got a car that's got unleaded petrol, then it's then it's all down to you. Uh, that's going to affect you. So um, you should take notice because it oh, it affects certain cars. And I said most cars and most cycles will run on E10 petrol. So that's quite important to know. All all petrol vehicles manufactured after 2011, as as well as most modern motorci motorcycles, are already E10 compatible. However, some petrol vehicles made before 2011, around 5% of all petrol vehicles on the road, will need to continue to use E5 fuel. If your car is not compatible, then you'll be able to use the super unleaded petrol, which is the E5 one, which is a bit dearer. So it's, it's in your interest to uh, to find out if your, if your car is compatible. And especially if you're going to buy a uh, an older car that's that's pre 2011. So refueling an inca incompatible vehicle with E10 will not cause immediate harm, but continued use could damage engine parts. If in doubt about compatibility of your vehicle, um, you and your pupils can use the direct.gov E10 vehicle compatibility checker. So we'll use that then. And before we use it, I'm just going to. See this bit here, helping to reduce emissions, the introduction of the greener type of, of petrol will reduce transport CO2 emissions by 750,000 tonnes per year, the equivalent of taking 350,000 cars off the road. So it's a good thing really, isn't it? And let's check our compatibility. Check if your vehicle can run on E10 petrol. Check online if your car, van, and motorcycle or moped can use E10 petrol. Um, you'll need to know the vehicle manufacturer to use the service. You, you may also need the vehicle model, engine size and, and year if it was manufactured. Most petrol vehicles will run, will be able to use E10. If you're not too sure, an information checker, use your logbook V5C for, the, for, for your vehicle. You may also be able to get vehicle information online. So let's click on here and see what it tells us. Oh, it says here, before you start, the, this only applies to petrol vehicles. Diesel electric vehicles cannot use E10 petrol. Click on that. So important E10 information. The E10 petrol check has been created by the Department of Transport. Um, the information is subject to change and, and we cannot guarantee its accuracy. If your vehicle is fitted with replacement parts, this will also affect its accuracy. Let's click on it then, let's see what it says here. So let's click on a few of the makes, see what it says. So let's go to, oh, Citroen, that's a, a make. And let's click on it. So all cars and with petrol engines are E10 compatible since the 1st of January 2000. So that's probably any car in the last 21 years. Let's go back a bit and try another one. Let's go to, oh, Ford. That's a well-known one. Click on that. E10 is, is cleared for use in all petrol-driven Ford mod models sold in Europe since 1992, excluding Ford Mondeos, and that's the year. Personal imports are not, are not approved by Ford of Europe and excluded from the above statements. Now let's check another one while we're here. Let's go to, oh, let's go with Honda because they've been going a while, haven't they? Let's see, see what Honda says. E10 petrol is cleared for use in all European models with, this, with petrol engines equipped with electronic control fuel injection systems. Um, all all Honda motorcycles and mopeds produced in the EU market since 1993. Let's go back. Let's find another one. And let's go down to, let's, let's find a well-known one. Oh, uh, Mini. There's the Mini one. So Mini says, 
E10 is clear to, for use in all Mini models with, with petrol engines after the relaunch of the Mini brand in the year 2000. Let's find another one then. Let's, let's find Vauxhall, because Vauxhall is a good make, isn't it? See, there's loads of every makes there. Vauxhall, let's see what Vauxhall say. E10 petrol is cleared for use in all Vauxhall vehicles with petrol engines, excluding models with a 2.2 litre direct injection petrol engine, motor, motor code, and, and it says here, it tells you what it is, Vectra, Signum, and Zephyr. Um, if you're not sure, this is quite important, you can check the E10 compatibility. And it says here, if you're not sure if your car can use E10 in your vehicle, check the vehicle's owner's manual and the instructional booklet is specific to your vehicle. Look inside the fuel cap filler flap. Ask the car, motorcycle or scooter manufacturer. If you're still not sure, use E5 petrol. It will still be available in the super grade at many filling stations. So I suppose what we really want to know here is, is, is your car available? So all you can do is, is click on the, um, on the on select the vehicle and click on yours. I'll put a link below in the description. So if you want to check out your vehicle and check it out, and remember this comes into effect anytime between now and September. So um, watch out for it.